Hey guys, what is happening out there? Rev and Evan here back for another video and uh, it has definitely been an interesting couple of weeks, that's for sure. Um, whole country's quarantined. We're struggling through this uh, COVID-19 coronavirus thing, but hopefully we can bring some entertainment to, uh, to everybody and uh, make you smile a little bit. So I was chatting with my buddies over at Tremec and we were talking about the new DCT transmission and they said, uh, you know, that might be a cool topic for your YouTube video or your YouTube channel. I said, oh sure, I, uh, no doubt about that. People love the GT500 and it is always, uh, you know, it's been a hot topic since they really announced what transmission would be in the car because some people call it an automatic, some people call it stick, people don't really know how to treat a DCT as far as, you know, where does it fall in the whole performance kind of, um, the realm of performance for either a stock vehicle or modified down the road. So the guys at Tremec, in order to help us explain what's going on, sent me over uh, some pretty cool videos that really get into it and explain how the dual clutch works and how the transmission functions. So I figured, hey, I'll throw that up there. All right, so let's take a look at the footage that Tremec sent over. For enthusiasts who demand extreme performance, the computer-controlled TR9070 DCT is a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that features 900 newton meters of torque capacity and lightning-fast shift times. It delivers the efficiency of a manual transmission with the speed and smoothness of an automatic, driven by dual clutches that precisely orchestrate system timing. The Tremec DCT exploits the efficiencies of the manual gearbox with best-in-class power-honed helical gears with triple cone synchronizers that adjust shaft speeds and align the gears to mesh smoothly. The shift fork that moves the synchronizers in a manual transmission is now electrohydraulically actuated in the DCT. This computer-controlled mechanism precisely engages gears based on current driving conditions. The advanced Tremec DCT design utilizes one common fluid for cooling, lubrication, and hydraulic actuation. This highly efficient system includes a mechanically driven, low-mass, high-pressure oil pump for reduced noise vibration and harshness. Hydraulic valve bodies, strategically positioned for the shortest possible oil circuits to eliminate response delays. This system provides clutch cooling with dedicated solenoids to minimize parasitic losses and to anticipate thermal events, and clutch actuation pressure control, and shift rod actuation pressure control. The oil management system has been optimized for racetrack performance, where high g-forces are generated. Force lubrication keeps gears and bearings cool under the most extreme conditions. Internal fins on the sump cover keeps oil at the pickup point while gear shields reduce splash and direct oil back to the sump. Like a manual transmission, all gears in the Tremec DCT mesh constantly. No torque is transferred until the synchronizer locks the gear to the shaft. The Tremec dual clutch transmission features an inner drive shaft connected to one clutch, driving the odd set of gears 1, 3, 5 and 7. An outer concentric drive shaft is connected to the other clutch driving the even set of gears, 2, 4, 6, and reverse. When transmitting torque through one gear set, say third gear, the computer-controlled system pre-selects fourth gear on the even set. By engaging one clutch and disengaging the other, gear ratios change seamlessly, creating lightning-fast shifts while delivering constant torque to the wheels. The Tremec DCT features two wet clutches that engage and release in perfect computer-controlled synchronization. The parallel clutch design is normally open and hydraulically controlled. Individually cooled, with up to 30 liters per minute of lubricant when needed. Tremec proprietary friction paper is utilized for ultra-efficient control and thermal capacity. Integrated control solutions cover the DCT from top to bottom with an advanced 32-bit transmission control unit. Its intelligent software choreographs the characteristics and personality of the Tremec DCT, including system timing, 
from gear selection to clutch modulation while controlling all system calibrations for fun-to-drive vehicle targets. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed the look inside the 7-speed uh, DCT transmission from Tremec. I really uh, appreciate those guys sending that video over. It really does explain, you know, how the dual clutch system works, how the transmission functions, and you can clearly see it's a wonderful fit for the GT500. But it kind of got me thinking, would it be a fit for an older build? Would it be a fit for a Fox body? Would it even fit in a Fox body? There's so many questions. Is it something the aftermarket, you know, enthusiasts would be interested in? So I would appreciate if you guys would chime in, leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think? Would, would you install a DCG uh, transmission? Would it kind of for you, would it take the fun away from ramming the gears? Or if you're somebody with an automatic, but you really want to stick but don't want the hassle of shifting, is that something that you would consider installing in your car uh, if Tremec order, offered one for the aftermarket? I think that'd be a cool retrofit piece, especially um, if somebody offered some tuning for the thing, because it would have to interact with the engine. It would not be a simple swap, and it certainly wouldn't be um, a cheap swap. I would imagine it would be fairly expensive to do. But, you know, certainly there are expensive builds, and there are you know, people pushing technology. So I wonder, is this the next big thing? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But thanks again for watching one of our videos. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, stay safe out there. Do what you gotta do, quarantine, whatever it takes. I'm gonna go uh, put the pedal down on the GT350, have a little fun here, and uh, we'll check you back in a little bit. Thanks again for watching.